don't force anything, the art of letting things happen. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius Have you ever found yourself wrestling with life's circumstances, pushing against the current, only to feel more entangled in the struggle? Imagine standing before a door that clearly says pull, yet you push with all your might. That frustrating moment of resistance mirrors how we often approach our challenges. But what if we could turn this around? In a world that glorifies relentless hustle and unyielding effort, the idea of letting things happen might seem counterintuitive. Yet, the true essence of Stoicism teaches us that inner peace and genuine success come not from forcing our way forward, but from harmonizing our actions with the natural flow of life. This isn't about surrendering to inaction. It's about engaging in thoughtful, deliberate effort that aligns with the universe's own rhythm. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where today we explore the profound wisdom of don't force anything, the art of letting things happen. Join us as we delve into the strategic elegance of letting go and discover how this practice can transform your life. Have you ever found yourself caught in the relentless struggle to control every aspect of your life, only to realize that the tighter you grip, the more things slip through your fingers? This constant battle often leaves us frustrated, stressed, and far from achieving the peace and success we seek. What if the secret to true strength and tranquility lies in knowing when to act and when to let go? This is the essence of Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches us the art of discerning effort from force, action from control, and aligning with the natural flow of life. At first glance, this might sound like a call to a passive existence, an invitation to drift aimlessly on the tides of fate. However, Stoicism reveals a profound strength in understanding the difference between effort and force, between taking action and trying to control the uncontrollable. This perspective, rooted in ancient wisdom, remains incredibly relevant today. The Stoics, including great minds like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus, weren't merely engaged in academic debates. They practiced a way of life centered on practical wisdom, reason, and virtue. They taught us that true power lies in aligning our actions with nature's laws and our inner virtues, rather than forcing outcomes that are beyond our control. Consider Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor who, by day, led legions and governed an empire and, by night, penned reflections that would be immortalized in his meditations. He writes, Do not waste what remains of your life in speculating about your neighbors unless it is to effect some good for them. No, rather while there is still time, go within and weigh up your own measure. In these quiet reflections, Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the futility of trying to impose our will on the world. Instead, he invites us to turn inward, cultivate our character and let our efforts flow from a place of inner alignment with nature's course. This practice helps us understand that while we cannot control external events, we can control our responses leading to a life of greater peace and efficacy. Similarly, Seneca, the statesman and philosopher, observed the ebb and flow of fortune with the keen eye of a scholar and the heart of a poet. He mused, Fate leads the willing and drags along the reluctant, encapsulating the essence of our discussion. This striking imagery of life's currents either gently guiding us or forcefully pulling us along encourages us to discern when to exert effort and when to yield. Seneca's words remind us that there is a time to row with all our might and a time to raise our oars and let the river carry us forward. In modern life, this translates to knowing when to push towards our goals and when to step back, allowing events to unfold as they will. In today's fast-paced world, the teachings of Stoicism offer a sanctuary of wisdom. By practicing the art of letting things happen, we learn to navigate life's challenges with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. We understand that our true power lies not in the forceful pursuit of control, but in the harmonious balance of effort and acceptance. As Epictetus wisely said, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. 
This timeless advice encourages us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and attitudes, and to accept what we cannot, thus finding peace amidst the chaos. By embracing these stoic principles, we can lead lives marked by tranquility and purpose. We learn to act with intention, rooted in our virtues, and to let go of the futile struggle against the inevitable. This approach not only enhances our personal well-being, but also positively impacts those around us, as we become beacons of calm and reason in a turbulent world. So, next time you find yourself overwhelmed by the need to control everything, remember the wisdom of the Stoics. Let go of what you cannot change, focus on what you can, and allow the natural flow of life to guide you towards a more fulfilling and serene existence. The distinction between effort and force is pivotal in our journey through life. Effort is about aligning ourselves with our purpose and direction. It's akin to rowing downstream, moving harmoniously with the current of our own nature and the world around us. Force, on the other hand, is like rowing against the tide, exhausting ourselves in a futile attempt to control the river's flow. Effort embodies wisdom and strength, while force stems from a misunderstanding of our place within the grand scheme of things. How can we tell the difference between the two? When do we strive, and when do we surrender? This is the heart of our discussion today. Understanding the signs of force is crucial. Notice the tension in your body, the frustration in your mind, the feeling of battling uphill against life's relentless forces. Conversely, true effort feels different. There's a sense of being in the zone, satisfaction from doing our best without clinging to the outcome, and peace from knowing we've acted with virtue regardless of the results. To truly understand this concept, we must immerse ourselves in the natural flow of life. Let's delve into how the Stoics lived by this flow, embracing destiny while exercising their will, taking action without getting trapped by the results. They struck a balance between shaping their lives and accepting life's unfolding narrative. This philosophy isn't just for ancient times, it's a vibrant guide for our modern lives. Consider setting goals grounded in the art of allowing. How do we pursue relationships without clinging to rigid expectations? How do we advance in our careers without being consumed by ambition? These questions guide our exploration today. We'll discuss practical steps to integrate the stoic art of allowing into our daily routines. Recognizing what we can and cannot control is key. There's joy in aligning with the natural course of events and freedom, in letting go of the need to force life to fit our desires. Take a moment to reflect on this in your own life. Have you ever pushed too hard for something, only to feel burnt out and frustrated? Now think of a time when you allowed things to flow, working with the situation instead of against it. Which approach brought more peace and satisfaction? In a modern context, imagine you're at work striving to achieve a significant milestone. You put in the effort, align with the team, and stay focused on the task. But there's a difference between dedicating yourself to the project and obsessively trying to control every variable. The latter often leads to stress and burnout, while the former, guided by effort without force, brings a sense of fulfillment and progress. The words of Epictetus resonate deeply here. No great thing is created suddenly. This wisdom guides us as we navigate the space between action and inaction, between making things happen and letting them happen. It's a reminder that the most profound changes in our lives often emerge not from the force of our will, but from the patience and persistence of our effort. To integrate this wisdom into your life, start small. Identify areas where you've been forcing outcomes and try to ease back. Allow things to unfold while you still give your best effort. Observe the results and how you feel. This practice can lead to a more balanced, peaceful, and ultimately more successful approach to life. By learning to distinguish between effort and force, we can navigate life with greater wisdom, strength, and serenity. What aspects of your life could benefit from a shift from force to effort? How might this change your daily experiences and long-term goals? In our journey to understand the art of letting things happen, we come across the concept of forcing outcomes. Forcing things means pushing against the natural flow of events with a stubborn determination, 
ignoring the realities around us. It is an effort to impose our will, to control outcomes and to shape the course of life according to our personal goals and desires. While this approach is often driven by the pursuit of success, it can lead us away from true wisdom. Imagine standing at the edge of a river. Your goal is to reach the opposite bank. Forcing things would be like diving into the water and swimming against the current, expending energy with every stroke, battling the river at every turn. Sure, you might eventually reach the other side, but at what cost? Your strength is depleted, your spirit exhausted, and you're left wondering if there might have been a better way, a bridge, a boat, or a smoother path downstream. Stoicism teaches us that there is a natural order to the universe, a flow to life that we should respect and align ourselves with, rather than resist. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher, once said, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote emphasizes the importance of acceptance and love in navigating life's currents. Instead of forcing outcomes, we should focus on understanding and embracing the present moment, working with the natural flow rather than against it. Consider the seasons. You cannot force winter to become spring or summer to linger forever. Each season has its time, and trying to rush or prolong them is futile. Similarly, in our lives, there are seasons of growth, rest, change, and stability. Recognizing and honoring these natural cycles can bring us peace and clarity. When we force things, we often overlook the wisdom of timing. Epictetus, another great Stoic, advised, Don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen, and you will go on well. This advice encourages us to adjust our expectations and desires to match the reality of our circumstances, fostering a sense of harmony and reducing unnecessary stress and frustration. Reflect on your own experiences. Have you ever tried to force a situation to turn out a certain way, only to face resistance and disappointment? What might have happened if you had taken a step back, assessed the situation calmly, and allowed things to unfold naturally? Open-ended questions like these invite introspection and deeper understanding, making the lesson more personal and impactful. Furthermore, when we let go of the need to control every outcome, we open ourselves to new possibilities and perspectives. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher and statesman, wrote, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. By daring to trust the process and relinquish control, we often find that paths appear where we least expect them. In practice, Embracing the art of letting things happen means cultivating patience, humility, and trust. Patience allows us to wait for the right moment without frustration. Humility reminds us that we do not have all the answers and that life's complexities often exceed our understanding. Trust assures us that, even if we cannot see the outcome, the journey itself is valuable and meaningful. Imagine again standing by that river. But this time, instead of forcing your way across, you take a moment to observe. You notice a bridge a short walk upstream, or a boatman offering passage. By aligning with the flow of the river, you find an easier, more efficient way to reach your goal. This scenario illustrates how patience, humility, and trust can guide us to better solutions. Letting things happen does not mean passivity or lack of effort. On the contrary, it involves active engagement with the present mindful decision-making, and a willingness to adapt. It is about finding balance, knowing when to act and when to let go. This balance is at the heart of Stoic practice and leads to a more serene and resilient life. In essence, the art of letting things happen is about embracing the wisdom of the Stoics. It is about recognizing that life has its rhythm and flow, and our role is to navigate it with grace and understanding. By letting go of the need to force outcomes, we can live more harmoniously with ourselves and the world around us. As you ponder these ideas, ask yourself, where in my life am I pushing too hard? What would happen if I stepped back and allowed things to unfold naturally? How can I cultivate more patience, humility, and trust in my daily life?
These questions can help you apply the principles of Stoicism to your own journey, leading to greater peace and fulfillment. The wisdom of the Stoics offers us timeless guidance on living well. By learning to let things happen, we align ourselves with the natural order of life, finding strength in acceptance and serenity in the flow. As Marcus Aurelius aptly put it, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Embrace this mindset, and you will discover that even obstacles can become opportunities when approached with a stoic heart. Before we delve into the inner workings of our minds and hearts, imagine a tranquil river flowing effortlessly, following its natural course. This is the essence of letting things happen naturally, without force. When we attempt to control everything around us, we experience a tightening, a constriction within our minds and hearts. This manifests as stress, our body's alarm system signaling that something is amiss. Stress is often followed by anxiety, a persistent sense of dread that shadows our every step, whispering fears of what might go wrong. If unchecked, this constant tension leads to burnout, a profound exhaustion that dims our spirit and blunts our intellect. In a world that glorifies relentless achievement, these symptoms are often seen as badges of honor. Long hours, sleepless nights, and relentless pressure are mistaken for dedication. However, true dedication and achievement are misunderstood here. The Stoics would shake their heads at this misconception, knowing that working against nature, both the world's and our own, is foolish. Instead, Stoicism advocates for aligning with nature, understanding its flow, and moving in harmony with it. This approach doesn't mean abandoning our goals or dreams. Instead, it encourages us to pursue them with a keen sense of timing and method. It's about knowing when to sow and when to reap, when to speak and when to listen, when to act and when to wait. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished, said Lao Tzu, echoing the Stoic wisdom of acting in accordance with the natural order. Stoicism teaches us to apply our efforts wisely to channel our energies in harmony with the cycles of change and growth. It counsels us to focus on what we can control, our actions and attitudes, where our true power lies. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This insight is crucial in navigating our modern lives, where external pressures often tempt us to force outcomes. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle, pushing ourselves beyond reasonable limits. But as Epictetus wisely noted, freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. By embracing this stoic principle, we learn to let go of the need to control everything, finding peace and freedom in the process. As we integrate these teachings into our daily lives, we become more resilient, more at ease with the ebb and flow of life. We understand that there is a time for effort and a time for rest, a time for action and a time for reflection. By living in harmony with the natural order, we cultivate a serene mind and a resilient spirit, ready to face whatever comes our way with grace and composure. In this way, we not only achieve our goals, but do so with a sense of balance and inner peace, embodying the true essence of Stoic wisdom. Thank you for joining us in this video. How do you incorporate the principles of Stoicism, especially the idea of letting things happen naturally, into your daily life? If you're not sure how to write a review, you could start with, I used to have a hard time trying to control everything in my life, but after adopting the ideas of Stoicism, I've... This journey isn't about giving up. It's about engaging with life deeply, with the wisdom to know what we can and cannot change. To work harmoniously with nature, we must first understand it, starting with ourselves. The stoic practice of self-examination, reflecting on our thoughts, emotions, and actions is vital for this. It helps us recognize when we are pushing too hard, driven by fear, pride, or desire, rather than reason and virtue. Think of a farmer who understands the seasons. He doesn't plant in winter not out of laziness but because he knows the land needs to rest and seeds grow best when sown at the right time. In our lives, 
Like the farmer, we need to understand our own seasons, read the signs of our internal and external environments and act accordingly. There is a beauty in patience, in allowing things to develop at their own pace. The oak tree doesn't rush to grow above the forest, it matures steadily, year by year, following the inherent pattern within its acorn heart. Similarly, our ambitions and efforts must unfold according to who we are and the circumstances we live in. Every day presents us with countless choices between forcing and flowing. This applies to our work projects, the relationships we nurture, and the personal goals we set for health, learning, and growth. From a Stoic perspective, we engage in these endeavors wholeheartedly, using our talents and energies, but with a mind open to whatever outcomes may arise. To master this art, we must be vigilant, always monitoring our inner state for signs of tension and force. We must be brave, ready to let go when we find ourselves clinging too tightly to a specific outcome. And we must be kind to ourselves, allowing for mistakes, learning, and growth without harsh self-judgment. Remember the wisdom of the Stoics, to live in agreement with nature. This doesn't mean taking the easy path, it means embracing the kind of resistance that shapes stones and carves canyons, the resistance that, through patience and persistence, aligns with life's forces to create lasting beauty and strength. It's like water flowing over rock, a gentle yet relentless force that over time reshapes even the hardest obstacles. Let's bring this concept to modern life. Imagine you're working on a major project at your job, and despite all your efforts, things aren't progressing as you'd hoped. Instead of forcing solutions, step back and reflect. Are you driven by fear of failure or pride? Can you adjust your approach to align more naturally with the situation? Sometimes, like the farmer, you need to wait for the right season. Or think about a relationship where you're trying too hard to make things work. Recognize when it's time to let go and allow the relationship to evolve naturally. How often do you find yourself forcing things in your daily life? How does it feel when you choose to flow instead? Reflecting on these questions, can help you understand the balance between effort and acceptance. The key is to engage fully in your actions while remaining open to the results, knowing that true strength lies in this harmony. The lesson here is simple but profound. Don't force things. Engage with life, apply yourself, but understand when to step back and let things unfold naturally. This approach not only aligns with the Stoic philosophy but also brings peace and resilience helping you navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. As you go about your day, practice this art of letting things happen and observe how it transforms your experiences and your inner state. Remember, true power lies in flowing with life, not against it. Imagine yourself navigating the currents of life, sometimes feeling swept away by the tides of events beyond your control. The ancient Stoic philosophy offers a lifeline, teaching us the art of letting things happen and finding serenity amidst the chaos. At the heart of Stoicism is the belief in a divine reason, known as Logos, that weaves through the universe. The Stoics saw the world as an intricate web, where everything is interconnected, and our true power lies in how we perceive and react to events, not in the events themselves. This perspective is beautifully encapsulated in the words of Epictetus who said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and responses, while accepting that much of life is beyond our control. This mindset isn't about passive resignation, but about engaging actively with life while maintaining an inner calm. Consider the story of Zeno of Sidium, the founder of Stoicism, whose journey began with a shipwreck near Athens. Stripped of his wealth, Zeno could have seen this as a disastrous turn of events. Instead, he chose to embrace his new reality, studying under crates of Thebes and eventually developing a philosophy that emphasizes inner peace through the acceptance of fate. Zeno's misfortune became a catalyst for his philosophical awakening highlighting the Stoic principle that obstacles can be transformed into opportunities. 
The tale of Zeno reminds us that our greatest growth often comes from our most challenging experiences. Reflect on your own life. Have there been times when a seemingly negative event led to unexpected growth or new opportunities? This transformation of perspective is a cornerstone of Stoic thought. By viewing obstacles as materials for growth, we can find purpose and tranquility even in adversity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, advised, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This powerful insight encourages us to see challenges not as barriers, but as stepping stones to personal development. As you journey through life, consider the balance between action and acceptance. Stoicism doesn't advocate for passivity, but for a mindful engagement with the world. It teaches us to act with intention and virtue, focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. This approach fosters resilience and equanimity, enabling us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace. Think about a recent situation where you felt stressed or overwhelmed. How might a Stoic approach have helped you handle it differently? The Stoics believed in cultivating personal virtue and wisdom as the path to true contentment. By focusing on developing qualities like courage, justice, and temperance, we align ourselves with the natural order and find inner peace. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, wrote, Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. This quote underscores the Stoic belief in the importance of readiness and virtue in seizing life's opportunities. Let's delve deeper into the idea of letting things happen. This doesn't mean we abandon our goals or aspirations, but rather that we approach them with a flexible mindset. When faced with setbacks, instead of resisting or lamenting, we adapt and find new ways forward. This adaptive resilience is a hallmark of Stoic practice. How do you currently handle setbacks? Can you see how adopting a Stoic mindset might change your approach and reduce your stress? The Stoic practice of letting things happen also involves recognizing the limits of our influence. We can't control other people's actions, the weather, or the economy, but we can control our responses to these external factors. By accepting this reality, we free ourselves from unnecessary frustration and focus our energy on what truly matters. This principle is reflected in the famous serenity prayer. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Incorporating Stoic principles into your daily life involves a continuous practice of mindfulness and reflection. Start by identifying areas where you feel a lack of control and examine how you can shift your focus to your responses and actions. Engage in regular self-reflection, asking yourself how you can respond more virtuously in challenging situations. Over time, this practice can lead to profound changes in how you experience and navigate the world. Consider how you can apply Stoic teachings to improve your life today. Perhaps begin with small steps like pausing before reacting to a stressful situation or reminding yourself of what you can control in a moment of frustration. Gradually, these practices will help build a foundation of inner strength and tranquility, enabling you to face life's challenges with greater confidence and calm. The art of letting things happen, as taught by the Stoics, is a powerful tool for achieving inner peace and resilience. By focusing on what we can control, accepting what we cannot, and cultivating personal virtue, we can navigate the ebbs and flows of life with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. Remember the wisdom of the Stoics as you move forward. He who conquers himself is the mightiest warrior. Confucius Embrace the journey of self-mastery and discover the profound peace that comes from letting things happen. How will you begin to integrate these Stoic principles into your life today? In a world where control feels just within our grasp, thanks to the wonders of technology, it's crucial to remember the timeless wisdom of the Stoics. Don't force anything. Let things happen. As the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart.
This guiding principle of Stoicism is especially relevant today, as we navigate the complexities of modern life with an illusion of control that is often fleeting. Today, we live in an age of unprecedented complexity and rapid change where technological advancements and innovations create an illusion of control over our lives. We have countless tools and systems designed to optimize every aspect of our existence, from sleep patterns to productivity schedules. We meticulously plan, schedule, and track our activities, aiming for a perfectly controlled life. However, despite our best efforts, life often unfolds in unexpected ways, reminding us of the stoic lesson that it is not the plan itself, but our attachment to the plan, that causes distress. This perspective encourages us to shift our focus from rigidly controlling every outcome to embracing the flow of events as they happen. In modern leadership, whether in business or sports, the stoic principle of focusing on the process rather than the outcome has gained significant recognition. Leaders understand that true excellence stems from the quality of our actions and not from an anxious fixation on results. By channeling our energy into the present task with full commitment, we embody the stoic wisdom of investing in what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. This approach not only enhances performance, but also fosters a sense of peace and resilience as we are no longer burdened by the unpredictable nature of outcomes. The stories of historical figures who have embraced stoic acceptance of fate further illustrate this point. Many individuals, despite facing significant adversity, have transformed their challenges into opportunities for positive change. Their lives serve as powerful reminders that our response to circumstances, rather than the circumstances themselves, defines our journey. By adopting a stoic mindset, we learn to navigate life's trials with a steady heart and a clear mind focusing on our integrity, purpose, and the things within our control. In our daily lives, the relevance of Stoicism is profound. We encounter a myriad of challenges and obstacles, from minor inconveniences to life-altering events. The practice of differentiating between what we can control and what we must accept is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It empowers us to respond to challenges with grace and composure knowing that our true power lies in our reactions and choices, not in the external events themselves. As the philosopher Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By integrating stoic principles into our modern lives, we cultivate a mindset that prioritizes our inner strength and resilience over the uncontrollable aspects of existence. This shift in perspective helps us maintain our peace of mind even amidst chaos, and allows us to lead more fulfilling lives. So, as we face the ebbs and flows of life, let us remember the art of letting things happen, focusing on what we can control, and embracing the wisdom of the Stoics to guide us through the unpredictability of the modern world. In our fast-paced, ever-changing world, Stoicism stands as a beacon of stability, offering a moral compass in an age often characterized by moral relativism. It provides a framework for personal development that emphasizes character over fame, virtue over success, and wisdom over mere knowledge. By embracing these principles, we ground ourselves in a philosophy that values the essence of our character above the unpredictable circumstances of our lives. When crises arise, whether personal or collective, Stoic teachings shine brightly as beacons of resilience. The Stoic virtue of courage is not about the absence of fear but about the strength to persist despite it. It's about facing a turbulent world with a soul firmly rooted in virtue, ready to adapt, accept, and overcome challenges. Consider a modern-day scenario. You're working on a project that means a lot to you, pouring your heart and soul into it. Yet, despite your best efforts, things aren't going as planned. Deadlines are missed, unforeseen problems arise, and you feel the pressure mounting. Here. The stoic wisdom of letting things happen comes into play. Instead of forcing solutions or succumbing to frustration, you acknowledge the situation, accept the role of fate, and focus on what you can control, your actions, and your attitude. This approach not only alleviates stress, but also empowers you to navigate the situation with a clear mind and a calm heart. This is the essence of stoic wisdom. 
allowing things to happen while committing to virtuous action is not a relic of the past, but a living, breathing guide for the present. It invites us into a dance with destiny, where we lead with our virtues, follow with our acceptance, and create a harmony that resonates with the teachings of the Stoic sages. This timeless harmony reminds us that within the chaos of life, we have the power to cultivate an inner sanctuary of peace and strength. As we journey through life, from the ancient tales of Zeno's shipwreck to our own modern-day challenges, Stoic philosophy remains a steadfast friend. It does not call us to shrink from life's battles but to engage with them more wisely, with the steadiness of heart and the serenity of a mind attuned to the wisdom of the ages. Through Stoicism, we learn that the art of letting things happen is not about surrender, but about a deeper conquest, the conquest of self-mastery, virtue, and a life lived in harmonious accord with the world's unfolding song. So, how can you apply this in your life? When faced with adversity, do you resist and force outcomes? Or do you pause, reflect, and let things unfold while maintaining your virtue? By reflecting on this question, you can start integrating Stoic principles into your daily routine, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Remember, the key lessons here are to focus on what you can control, accept what you cannot, and always strive to act virtuously. In doing so, you'll find that the art of letting things happen naturally leads to inner peace and resilience, helping you navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and strength. If you've made it this far, you're embracing the wisdom of Stoicism. Drop a comment saying, I am letting go, to show you're committed to this transformative journey. Stick around, the best is yet to come. Picture you're navigating the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, and you come upon a crucial lesson. The art of taking action without force. This isn't about shunning action altogether. Rather, it's about detaching from the outcomes of our efforts. Picture this balance as a dance where you move through life with purpose and vigor, yet release any grip on what your actions might yield. In the Stoic worldview, action is vital. We are all threads in the grand tapestry of life, weaving our unique patterns through our choices and deeds. But Stoics keenly differentiate between the actions we can control and the results we cannot. Our task is to invest ourselves fully in the former and gracefully let go of the latter. When we act, we do so with intention and clarity, like planting seeds of effort, care, and skill. Once these seeds are sown, their growth depends on countless factors beyond our control. The weather, the fertility of the soil, and the passage of time. Forcing an outcome is like standing over these seedlings and yanking at them to grow faster. It's not only futile, but likely harmful. Think of an archer a classic image from Stoic teachings. The archer pulls back the string, takes careful aim and releases the arrow. His duty ends at that moment of release. The arrow's path is then subject to the wind, the movement of the target, and other variables. The archer finds peace in his skillful shot, not in where the arrow lands. This Stoic principle teaches us to focus on our actions and intentions, which are within our control and to accept the outcomes, which are not. As Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, said, some things are up to us, and some things are not. This simple yet profound insight reminds us to distinguish between what we can change and what we must accept. By doing so, we free ourselves from the anxiety of outcomes and cultivate inner tranquility. Think about your daily life. How often do you stress over results that are beyond your control? Perhaps you're working hard on a project, hoping for a promotion, or nurturing a relationship, expecting a certain response. When you find yourself fixated on the outcome, ask yourself, am I focusing on what I can control? Am I putting my energy into my actions, or am I trying to force a result? This shift in perspective can transform your approach to challenges and opportunities alike. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic sage, wisely noted, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. His words encourage us to turn our attention inward, 
to master our responses and efforts, rather than the external world. By embracing this mindset, we build resilience against the inevitable uncertainties of life. We learn to ride the waves of fortune without being tossed about by every change in the tide. Consider the serenity of letting go. Imagine you're a gardener tending to your plants with care and diligence. You water them, ensure they get sunlight and protect them from pests. Yet, you understand that their growth depends on elements beyond your control. You don't tug at the plants to make them grow faster. Instead, you trust the process and find joy in the act of gardening itself. This is the essence of the stoic approach to action. Do your best and let go of the rest. Now, let's turn this concept inward. Reflect on your own life. Are there areas where you're trying to force an outcome? Are you attached to a specific result in your career, relationships, or personal growth? What would happen if you shifted your focus to the quality of your efforts rather than the results? How might this change your experience of work, love, and self-improvement? By engaging with these questions, you open yourself to a deeper understanding of Stoicism. You begin to see that true power lies not in controlling outcomes, but in mastering your actions and reactions. This shift can lead to greater peace, resilience, and fulfillment. It's about finding balance, dancing through life with purpose, and letting go of the need to dictate every step. As you navigate your own journey, remember the wisdom of the Stoics. Embrace the art of taking action without force, invest yourself fully in your efforts, and then release any attachment to the results. In doing so, you'll discover a profound freedom and tranquility, a steady calm amidst the chaos of life. The Stoic path is not one of passive resignation but of active engagement coupled with serene acceptance. It's about living fully, striving diligently, and embracing the uncertainty of outcomes with grace. So what actions will you take today with this newfound perspective? How will you plant your seeds of effort and skill, and how will you practice letting go of the need to control the harvest? Reflect on these questions and let the wisdom of Stoicism guide you to a life of purposeful action and peaceful acceptance. Have you ever felt like you're constantly pushing against the current, trying to force things to go your way? What if I told you there's a powerful ancient philosophy that suggests a different approach, one that allows you to flow with life, rather than struggle against it? Stoicism, advocates for taking action without attachment to the outcome. This idea finds an intriguing parallel in Eastern philosophy, particularly in Taoism's concept of Wu Wei, which means non-doing or effortless action. Wu Wei is about aligning with life's natural currents, acting in harmony with the Tao, or the way of the universe, which moves effortlessly and spontaneously. It's not about inactivity, but about taking action without struggle or excessive effort, intuitively knowing when to act and when to remain still, when to exert force and when to yield. As the great Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. This aligns perfectly with Wu Wei's essence. Just like a tree grows naturally without straining, Wu Wei teaches us to focus our energies where they are most effective, avoiding wasteful exertion. The universe has its own flow and wisdom and true power lies in attuning ourselves to these rhythms, moving with them rather than against them. This approach encourages a higher form of engagement, one that is intuitive, harmonious, and deeply connected to the world around us. In practical terms, embracing Wu Wei can transform how we approach our daily lives. For instance, consider the difference between taking action and forcing an outcome. Taking action is like planting a tree watering it and caring for it diligently. Forcing an outcome, on the other hand, is obsessively watching the tree every day, anxiously worrying about its growth and when it will bear fruit. This is the trap many of us fall into with our jobs, relationships, and personal development. We often fixate on outcomes, which not only adds unnecessary stress but can also detract from the quality of our actions. By focusing on the process rather than the result, we can be more present and attentive to what we are doing. This detachment from the outcome doesn't mean we care less. It actually means we are more engaged with the present moment, allowing us to perform better and with greater satisfaction. Imagine doing your best at work, in your relationships, 
and in your self-improvement efforts, but without the anxiety of how these actions will be received or what they will ultimately produce. This mindset shift can lead to a more fulfilling and less stressful life. Marcus Aurelius, another prominent Stoic, wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This reinforces the idea that our true strength lies in managing our inner responses rather than trying to control external circumstances. By aligning with the natural flow of life and relinquishing the need to force outcomes, we become more resilient and adaptable, much like a tree that bends with the wind but stands firm in its roots. In our fast-paced modern world, this wisdom is incredibly relevant. We are constantly bombarded with messages that tell us to hustle, to push harder, to achieve more. But what if the key to a more serene and effective life lies in the opposite approach? By embracing the principles of Wu Wei and Stoicism, we can find a balance that allows us to act with purpose and passion, yet without the debilitating stress of outcome fixation. This ancient wisdom invites us to trust in the process, to align with the natural rhythms of life, and to find peace in letting things unfold as they will. The connection between Stoicism and Taoism in understanding the art of letting things happen is profound and enlightening. Both philosophies encourage us to release our grip on the need for control and trust in the natural flow of life. They remind us that there is a greater wisdom in the unfolding of events, a wisdom that our limited human perspective cannot fully grasp. This wisdom guides us to act with integrity, fulfill our responsibilities, and then step back, allowing the universe to take its course. These philosophical teachings converge on a simple yet powerful truth. Peace arises not from controlling the outcomes of our actions, but from knowing that we have acted rightly, to the best of our ability, and with good intent. This is the essence of action without force, a steady, calm heart that resonates with the timeless wisdom that has guided countless individuals through the challenges of history. Applying these principles to our modern lives can lead us to a more serene and effective existence. We learn to differentiate between healthy exertion of effort and unhealthy obsession with control. We set goals, we strive, and then we let go. And in this act of letting go, we discover a new kind of strength, the strength of adaptability, resilience, and a deep harmony with the way things are. Consider the story of Emma, a project manager at a bustling tech startup. Emma used to obsess over every detail, trying to control every outcome to ensure success. This constant need for control led to stress, burnout, and a feeling of perpetual dissatisfaction, regardless of the project's outcome. One day, after reading about Stoicism and Taoism, she decided to shift her approach. She still planned meticulously and worked diligently, but she also started to trust her team more, letting go of the obsessive need to micromanage. The results were remarkable. Not only did the quality of her work improve, but she also felt more at peace and more connected to her colleagues. What if we approached our own challenges with this mindset? What if we focused on acting rightly and let go of the need to control the outcomes? How might this change our experience of work, relationships, and personal goals? This approach does not mean giving up or being passive. Instead, it is about finding a balance between effort and acceptance, between striving and surrendering. Ultimately, the lesson here is about harmony, harmonizing our actions with the natural flow of life, recognizing when to push and when to let go. By embracing this balance, we cultivate inner peace and outer effectiveness. So next time you find yourself overwhelmed by the need to control, remember the wisdom of Stoicism and Taoism. Act with integrity, do your best, and then step back. Trust in the process, and you might find that life has a way of working out in ways you never could have planned. The specific lesson here is clear. True strength and peace come from within from knowing you have done your best and then releasing the need to control the outcome. This is the art of letting things happen, a timeless wisdom that can guide us through the complexities of modern life with grace and serenity. Think about Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, sitting beside you, guiding you through the intricate balance of control and acceptance. 
he imparts a timeless lesson that forms the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. The distinction between what we can control and what we cannot. He says, some things are within our power, while others are not. Within our power are our opinion, motivation, desire, aversion, and in a word, whatever is of our own doing. Not within our power are our body, our property, reputation, office, and in a word, whatever is not of our own doing. Think about the world we live in, often chaotic and unpredictable. How often do you find yourself stressed or anxious over things beyond your control? Now, imagine living with the constant recognition that your true power lies within your own decisions, judgments, and reactions. This realization can be transformative. By accepting this, you conserve your energy, no longer wasting it on futile attempts to control the uncontrollable. Picture a skilled sailor who doesn't waste time lamenting the wind's direction, but instead adjusts the sails and steers accordingly. This is the essence of stoic wisdom in action. In practical terms, focusing on our responses to situations, rather than the situations themselves, is key. It's about preparing ourselves for various outcomes and understanding that success lies not in the achievement itself but in the effort well applied. When we apply this mindset, we start to let go of frustration over disrupted plans and unforeseen obstacles. Instead, we move through life with a steadier, more resilient pace. Marcus Aurelius, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advises, accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This approach encourages us to embrace each moment, not as we wish it to be, but as it is. By doing so, we build inner peace and resilience. Have you ever faced a situation where you tried to control every aspect, only to feel more stressed and less in control? What if instead you focused on your reaction and acceptance of the situation? This doesn't mean passivity. It means channeling your energy into what truly matters, your own thoughts and actions. The Stoic principle of focusing on what we can control also extends to our relationships. We often try to change others, but true change comes from within. Epictetus reminds us, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. When we let go of the need to control others, we create space for genuine connection and understanding. How might your relationships improve if you focused on understanding and supporting others rather than trying to change them? Consider how you approach your daily challenges. Do you get frustrated when things don't go as planned? What if you viewed each challenge as an opportunity to practice resilience and patience? The Stoics teach us to view obstacles as the path itself. Marcus Aurelius famously said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This perspective transforms obstacles into opportunities for growth and learning. Reflect on a recent challenge you faced. How did you react? Could you have approached it differently with a stoic mindset? By shifting our focus from the external to the internal, we gain a sense of control and peace. This doesn't mean we become indifferent to outcomes, but we learn to accept them with grace and equanimity. Seneca, another stoic philosopher, advises, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more. That is poor. This reminds us to appreciate what we have and not be enslaved by desires for what is beyond our control. Picture living each day with this wisdom. You wake up and, instead of dreading the day's uncertainties, you embrace them as part of life's journey. You focus on your responses, knowing that your inner world is where true peace resides. This is not just a philosophical ideal, but a practical guide to living a fulfilling life. How might your life change if you practice this daily? As you go through your day, remember the words of Epictetus. He is a wise man, who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This gratitude shifts our perspective, helping us to see abundance rather than lack. It encourages us to focus on our inner strengths and the positive aspects of our lives. Stoicism teaches us the art of letting go not as an act of resignation, but as a powerful stance of strength and serenity. It's about finding peace within ourselves, regardless of external circumstances. 
As you reflect on these teachings, consider how you can apply them to your life. What areas can you let go of control to find greater peace? How can you focus more on your own reactions and less on changing the world around you? By embracing the stoic wisdom of letting things happen, you embark on a journey of inner peace and resilience. You learn to navigate life's ebbs and flows with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. This is the true art of living, finding harmony within ourselves and the world around us. So next time you face a challenge, ask yourself, what can I control in this situation? And what must I accept? How can I use this moment to grow and strengthen my inner world? The answers to these questions will guide you towards a more tranquil and purposeful life, rooted in the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Thank you for joining us in today's video. Before we move on to the next segment, I'd like to take a moment to express my gratitude to you. It's a pleasure to have you as a member of our community. Please feel free to share your story or personal impressions. Alternatively, if you're unsure of what to say, simply leave a comment saying, I am a newbie, if you've just joined us, or I am stoic, if you've been with us for a while. Your engagement not only signifies your presence but also serves as a significant motivation for us. All right, let's continue this journey together, shall we? By welcoming every event as if we had chosen it ourselves, we can shift our perspective radically, turning each moment into a valuable opportunity for growth and reflection. This does not imply passivity or resignation to suffering, but rather recognizing the potential in whatever occurs. As Marcus Aurelius teaches, we can find beauty in life's inevitable cycles by viewing ourselves as part of a greater whole. This broader perspective frees us from the narrow focus that magnifies our troubles and blinds us to the possibilities within them. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus reminds us, highlighting the transformative power of our approach to life's challenges. Embracing Amor Fati means we are not giving up on improvement, but committing to move forward with optimistic pragmatism. It involves taking each moment as it comes and infusing it with our best selves, not because it guarantees a specific outcome, but because it is the most authentic way to live. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if it were all well invested says Seneca, underscoring the importance of prioritization and focus. Seneca prompts us to consider the scarcity of time and the folly of wasting it on the inconsequential. In today's era, filled with distractions, where our attention is a highly sought currency, Seneca's advice is more relevant than ever. Modern technologies often lead us to inadvertently squander vast amounts of this precious resource. Applying his wisdom today would mean conscientiously letting go of the trivial, the endless scroll through social media, preoccupation with others' lives, and worries over uncontrollable things. Instead, we can choose to use our time in pursuits that enrich our souls and better our world, such as deepening relationships, cultivating talents, or contributing to our communities. This shift from the superficial to the essence of life is what Stoic wisdom calls for. The Stoic practice of letting go is not about disengagement from the world, but about engaging with it more meaningfully. It emphasizes discernment, the ability to differentiate what truly matters from what does not. It is about purposeful action guided by wisdom, not the absence of action. By internalizing the lessons of Stoic philosophers, we learn to let go of the illusion of control, resistance to our reality, and distractions that sap our time. Instead, we cultivate acceptance, purpose and focus, enriching our lives and allowing us to navigate the world with grace and equanimity. In doing so, we honor the Stoic legacy, turning their timeless wisdom into a living practice that continues to resonate across the ages. As Epictetus wisely said, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. This timeless advice helps us embrace the present moment and live a fulfilling life, true to Stoic principles. Incorporating the philosophy of non-force into our daily lives is like learning a new language, the language of deliberate calmness and measured response. 
it is a subtle art that requires practice, patience, and a conscious recalibration of our habitual reactions. We'll explore practical strategies that weave the threads of non-force into the fabric of everyday existence, allowing its philosophy to permeate our actions and interactions. Let's start with the morning ritual, a daily tableau for setting the tone. Instead of leaping into the day with a frenzy of activity, begin with a moment of stillness. This could be a short meditation, a few minutes of deep breathing, or simply sitting with a cup of tea, anchoring yourself in the present. The objective is to cultivate a space where you can acknowledge the day's potential without the compulsion to steer it forcibly. Imagine waking up to a busy schedule, but instead of rushing, you sit quietly for a few moments, breathing deeply and setting a calm intention for the day ahead. This act of starting the day with intentional calmness sets the tone for non-forceful actions throughout the day. As the day progresses, consider adopting the practice of mindful pauses. Before commencing a new task, entering a meeting, or even responding to an email, take a brief pause to assess your state of being. Are you acting out of compulsion or choice? Are you about to force an outcome? Or are you prepared to do your best and let the results unfold naturally? These mindful pauses become checkpoints that reinforce the discipline of non-forcing. For instance, think about the last time you had a difficult conversation at work. Instead of diving into it with anxiety, what if you had taken a moment to pause, breathe, and approach it with calm and clarity? This simple practice can transform the quality of your interactions and decisions. A story from modern life perfectly illustrates this principle. Consider Sarah, a project manager overwhelmed with deadlines and team conflicts. She used to force solutions, pushing her team and herself to the brink of burnout. Then she discovered the power of non-force. She began her days with meditation and adopted mindful pauses throughout her workday. Instead of reacting impulsively, she responded thoughtfully. Over time, her team's dynamics improved and projects flowed more smoothly. Sarah realized that by not forcing outcomes, she created a more harmonious and productive work environment. Her story reminds us that letting things happen naturally can lead to better results than forcing them. How often do you find yourself trying to force an outcome, only to feel frustrated and exhausted? What if you could embrace the art of letting things happen, trusting the process and allowing outcomes to unfold naturally? These questions invite us to reflect on our tendencies and open ourselves to the wisdom of non-force. The key lesson here is that non-force is not about inaction. It's about intentional mindful action without the need to control every outcome. By integrating moments of stillness, mindful pauses, and a calm approach to our daily activities, we align ourselves with the flow of life, reducing stress and increasing our effectiveness. Embrace the art of letting things happen, and you'll find that life often brings better outcomes when you release the need to force them. Have you ever found yourself forcing a conversation, trying to steer it to your desired outcome? only to feel the strain and resistance build up? It's a common experience, and one that Stoicism can guide us through. The art of letting things happen, rather than forcing them, is a crucial principle in Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius once said, Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs. This wisdom invites us to engage in active listening during conversations, giving space to the other person's words, and resisting the urge to impose our narrative or desired conclusion. By doing so, we create a natural flow of dialogue, free from the constraints of preconceived agendas. Consider how different your interactions might be if you approached each conversation with the intention to truly listen, rather than to respond. This small shift can transform the way we communicate, fostering deeper connections and mutual understanding. But how do we build this discipline of non-forcing in our daily lives? One powerful method is through reflection. At the end of each day, taking time to journal can help us revisit our actions and attitudes. Did we push too hard in any situation? Could we have approached a problem with a lighter touch? This practice isn't about self-reproach, but about learning and recalibrating for the days ahead. Reflecting on our day allows us to identify patterns where we may be exerting unnecessary force 
and to consider alternative approaches. In addition to reflection, cultivating the art of strategic yielding can be incredibly beneficial. This involves recognizing moments when resistance is less effective than flexibility. Think of the willow tree that bends in the storm, but does not break. Strategic yielding is about finding strength in adaptability. For example, deferring a decision when emotions are high, yielding the floor in a debate to gather more information, or simply taking a walk when a work problem seems insurmountable, can all be acts of strategic yielding. This approach allows us to conserve our energy and return to challenges with a fresh perspective. Embracing practices that encourage a mindset of letting go can also be transformative. Activities like yoga or tai chi, which synchronize movement and breath, teach us to move with intention, but without unnecessary tension. The physical act of releasing tension in the body can serve as a powerful metaphor for releasing psychological tension and the need to control. These practices remind us that sometimes, the most effective way to deal with life's challenges is to approach them with a sense of ease and openness. As we navigate our daily lives, it's important to ask ourselves, are we approaching our challenges with a sense of flow, or are we trying to force outcomes? This question can help us stay mindful of our approach and adjust as needed. By practicing active listening, engaging in reflection, cultivating strategic yielding, and embracing letting go practices, we can learn to navigate life's ebbs and flows with a serene mind and resilient spirit. This isn't about giving up or being passive. It's about understanding that sometimes the best way to achieve our goals is to allow things to unfold naturally. Reflect on your own life for a moment. Can you think of instances where you forced a situation and it didn't turn out as you hoped? What might have happened if you had approached it with a lighter touch? By integrating these stoic principles into our lives, we can create a more harmonious and effective way of dealing with challenges. Remember the words of Epictetus, it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. This mindset encourages us to focus on our internal responses rather than trying to control external events. The art of letting things happen is about finding balance. It's about knowing when to act and when to step back, when to speak and when to listen, when to hold on and when to let go. As you move forward, keep this balance in mind. Practice it in your conversations, your reflections, and your daily habits. You'll find that by not forcing things, you allow space for the natural flow of life to guide you. And in that flow you may discover a sense of peace and effectiveness that forcing could never achieve. How will you start practicing the art of letting things happen today? As we come to the end of today's exploration into the art of letting things happen, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound wisdom we've uncovered. Stoicism teaches us that true strength and inner peace arise not from forcefully bending life to our will but from harmonizing our actions with the natural flow of events. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions, and releasing our grip on outcomes, we open ourselves to a more serene and resilient way of living. This approach allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity transforming obstacles into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Throughout history, the Stoics have shown us that by accepting the things we cannot change and dedicating ourselves to virtuous action, we can find tranquility even in the midst of chaos. Marcus Aurelius reminded us that the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This powerful insight encourages us to see every challenge as a chance to refine our character and deepen our understanding of the world. Thank you for joining us today on Stoic in Your Life. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and practical strategies for embracing the art of letting things happen. If you found this content meaningful, please take a moment to like this video, share it with others who might benefit and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll ensure that you don't miss any of our upcoming explorations into the timeless teachings of Stoicism. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you're alerted as soon as we release new content. We're dedicated to bringing you thoughtful and engaging discussions that help you incorporate Stoic principles into your daily life. Remember, letting things happen isn't about passivity or inaction. It's about actively engaging with life, making thoughtful and deliberate efforts and then trusting the process. 
It's about finding balance, knowing when to act and when to step back, when to hold on and when to let go. This balanced approach leads to a life marked by tranquility, purpose, and resilience. As you go about your day and face the various challenges that come your way, keep in mind the wisdom of the Stoics. Embrace the flow of life, focus on what you can control, and let go of the rest. By doing so, you'll discover a profound sense of peace and effectiveness that comes from aligning your actions with the natural order of things. Thank you for being part of our community. We look forward to continuing this journey with you, exploring the rich and transformative philosophy of Stoicism. Until next time, stay mindful, stay resilient, and stay Stoic.